Hello, and welcome to Trust Your Sacred Feminine Flow. I'm your host, Joni Advent Maher, mystic, spiritual midwife, and visionary leadership guide. It's my great pleasure to share inspiring and intimate conversations and emerging wisdom gathered from our collective feminine journey of awakening. My guests are revolutionary women at the cutting edge of both personal and global transformation. I invite you to join us in claiming our sovereignty, changing the world, and flourishing no matter what. Welcome to Trust Your Sacred Feminine Flow. I'm so delighted you're here with me. I'm your host, Joni Advent Maher. I'm a mystic and a spiritual midwife, and I am here to support women like you who are sensitive, creative, passionate, to cultivate your visionary leadership, to guide you in your life, your business, or your sacred service to the world. Today, I want to talk with you about two of the biggest challenges I see women facing who want to have more impact in their lives and in the world around them. The first is a lack of clarity, and that can be so frustrating and painful to feel that urge and that yearning and desire to have meaningful impact and to either be unclear on the how to do it, the form it's meant to take, or what to do next. And I see so many women struggling with this who are so gifted and talented, and this may be true for you as well, you know you're meant to do something or you know that there is an issue that you want to address and you can feel just the power of that desire but the mental aspect remains unclear of what do I do next? How do I address this? Or what is my contribution to make? This can be particularly challenging, A, if you have a lot to offer or you have a breadth and a depth of capabilities or wisdom, it can be very hard to hone in and get clear on what is the right channel, what is the right conduit, how am I meant to focus all this wisdom and passion and these gifts in order to put it out into the world in a meaningful way. It certainly took me a long time to clarify that and to understand what are the ways that all the threads that I bring, both all my passions, all my gifts, all my capabilities, how are they meant to be woven together into the just right form? And that may be true for you as well. You may have so much that you bring to the table and you're not quite sure how all those pieces fit together. It's times like this when it can be so valuable to have someone that can mirror or reflect back who you are and what you bring. Because the truth is we can't always see clearly for ourselves, no matter how hard we try or how much we can do that for others. I certainly have found that to be the case for me. I have amazing vision when it comes to others. I can pinpoint and see so clearly both the light of who they are, their gifts, and where their future self is calling them. But I had my own struggles in doing that for myself. I know how deeply painful and frustrating it can be 
to want to move forward and to not feel clear. The second challenge that I see so many women facing is the issue of self-doubt. And this, this topic is so big and so prevalent. And it's not just the way that society and culture and almost every bit of programming we have is designed to have us question ourselves. Truly, I believe this is something that has been passed down through our DNA as women to not stand in our full authority, to not claim the truth of who we are and what we know. That self-doubt is so painful I have lived it, I have seen it, I have walked others through it, and it is, it is criminal. And I would dare say it is the biggest thing that inhibits us as women from creating the impact we were born to make. And it's a doubt that is not so much related to discernment, which is the capacity to tune in and see, to question, is this the right direction I meant to go in? Or is this the right form or the right thing to say? My sense of this self-doubt is really, it is a questioning of selfhood. It is not about what we're doing, but it is about who we are. And that makes me angry. (laughs) This is something I get very impassioned about because it is such a lie. There is this diminishment that so many women are walking around with and it is such a lie. My dear, if you could see the brilliance of who you are, you would be blown away. You would be blown away. One of my sacred gifts is the capacity to vision and to see, and to see the light that is breathtaking, that is your true nature. And anything that discounts the truth of that needs to be questioned, needs to be cleared, needs to be healed. And sister, I believe 2020 is the year for that. We are being called out. We are being called out by spirit. We are being called out by our own souls to step into the truth, the beauty, the wisdom, the power, and the impact of who we are and what we are here to do. And we do not have the luxury of languishing in the lies any longer. So that is not to say that you should feel badly or Beat yourself up if you are struggling with doubt. But I am here to tell you that the way we overcome the doubt is to plug in. It is to plug into the truth of who you are. It is to do the inner work to clear out those illusions and clear out those lies that you have been told, and if there are people in your world who are continuing to feed you those lies, to either put them on notice that it is time to stop, or it may be time to leave those relationships. So my dear, if you are not living the fullness of the impact you know you're here to do, I invite you to honor your longing and recognize that you are carrying some baggage, some goggles, some filters that are not serving you. 
and make a commitment to yourself. Are you willing to make a commitment to yourself to clear that and to move forward? Because I'm here to tell you there will always be some niggling dissatisfaction or lack of fulfillment until you do. You are paying a price for that. And I understand that it can feel challenging and scary. And frankly, none of us can really do this completely on our own. We need each other, as I said, to provide that mirroring. We need each other to hold ourselves accountable. And we need each other in those moments when the pieces are falling apart, when the old aspects are dissolving, when the wheels are falling off in our journey to become the women we were born to be, we need each other to hold the space for us and to love us and to see and reflect who we are until we can see it and know it in our own bones for ourselves. And so, beloved, there's one other piece that's vitally important that I want you to understand about self-doubt, and it is this. We have been attempting to succeed in a world, in a paradigm that does not have a place for us, that does not honor our innate nature and innate capacities as women. So the deck is perpetually stacked against us and those parts of us that are our most true essence have to be checked at the door or made dormant in order for us to attempt to succeed. We are here to create the new world. We are here to birth the new world. And it requires us accessing all of who we are. We don't have role models for this in terms of seeing how it's been done before us. We are building it anew through our passions, through the ways that we have been called to take action in our own lives. And again, whether that's in our own interpersonal lives when, whether it is in our communities or our sacred service to the world. So my dear, please know that if you are feeling that desire or urgency or impulse to make a change, make a change in this world, make a change, that is a holy desire. It is a holy desire longing and desire that deserves your respect and our respect and support. And I am here in your corner, believing in you and cheering you on. And if you can use more tangible, concrete, backing you up support, I am here and available for that as well. You can reach out to me through my website, revolutionaryheart.com, to schedule a call and see how we might work together. It would be my honor and my delight to help you make your biggest impact in 2020. Sending you much love and my reminder to Always trust what your heart knows. Thanks for listening to Trust Your Sacred Feminine Flow. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend and be sure to subscribe, rate, and review wherever you get your podcasts. And visit theradianceequation.com to receive your copy of 
The Radiance Equation, a visionary's guide to coming out of hiding, owning your wisdom, and creating your greatest impact. 